Hey swimmers, I'm Taylor from My Swim Pro, and in today's video, we are going to talk about how to overcome fear and anxiety around open water swimming. So if you're new to swimming in the lake or the ocean, it can be really scary. You don't know what's lurking underneath in the water. You might not be able to see very well, but today I'm gonna to share a few tips to help you overcome those fears and get really comfortable in open water so you can start swimming workouts in the open water and maybe even do an open water race or triathlon. Let's get started. Tip number one actually begins before you even get in the water. So we wanna make sure we're in the right headspace before we go into our open water swim. So before you arrive at the beach or the lake, take a few minutes to just relax, do some deep breathing and really visualize what your swim is gonna be. So how is it gonna feel when you get to the beach, when you walk into the water? What are those first few strokes gonna feel like? How is it gonna feel when you finish your swim and get out on the beach? How is your body gonna feel? Are you gonna feel accomplished? Visualize every aspect of that swim. And then after that, you're kind of ready to start planning out your route. So I'm here at the beach. Um, I'm gonna take a look around. I see that there are some buoys that I might wanna swim along. I see some rocks that I wanna avoid. So you just kinda wanna make sure that you have a good plan going into it and that you can visualize every step of that swim so that it goes off without a hitch. So I'm here at a public beach today, and the great thing about that is that there's a lifeguard present. So if you're new to open water, make sure you're swimming at a beach that has a lifeguard. You can even talk to them beforehand and get some information about the beach, about the water, and let them know that you're new so they can keep an eye on you. Um, you should also make sure that there aren't too many boats around. If there's lots of boat traffic, that can be really, really dangerous. So the best beaches uh, have a nice long stretch of protected water so that you have a nice uninterrupted swim. All right, next tip is to make sure you understand the tides, especially if you're swimming in the ocean. Um, you wanna make sure that you're swimming at a time where it's safe. So if there's a lifeguard on your beach, you can talk to them and ask them if there are any rip currents you need to avoid or if, if it's a good time for you to swim. If it's really wavy and you're not super comfortable yet, maybe wait until it's a little bit calmer. It's really calm and glassy out here today, so it is a perfect, perfect condition for a swim. All right, our next tip is to always swim with a buddy. So I've got my buddy Paige here. She's gonna join me for my swim today. And part of the reason you wanna swim with a buddy is for safety reasons. It's always good to have someone who's looking out for you. Um, and if you've got your open water buoy and a bright colored swim cap, you guys will never lose track of each other. So that's really good. If you don't have a buddy that can swim with you, a lot of open water swimmers also will bring a kayak buddy or a paddleboard buddy, someone who paddles right alongside them the whole time. So find a buddy and hit the open water. All right, let's go. Let's do it. to shore for your first few open water swims. So I can stand here, but it's also deep enough for me to swim and not touch the bottom. So that means if I need a break or if I get scared, or I start to panic, I can stand up and take a take a breath, take, take a break. Also, if you've got your gooby and you're in deeper water, you can always just hold onto it and float, take a breather, and get right back to your swim. So swimming in open water feels very different than when you're in a pool. There's waves and things that are gonna change your stroke a little bit. So it's totally okay to swim breaststroke, flip onto your back for some, a couple backstroke strokes to get yourself reoriented. And when you need to breathe, it's also okay to lift your head forward a bit when you're swimming freestyle. It's actually encouraged because you wanna make sure you're swimming straight. The waves and the current are gonna push you around and you're not gonna swim in a straight line like you do when you're swimming in a pool. So if you can find like a pier or a big tree or a building to kind of sight off of, you can lift your head forward when you breathe and you'll make sure you'll stay on course. In my experience, it's best to sight every 10 to 20 strokes so that you stay on course. And don't worry if you don't swim straight right away. Sighting takes a bit of practice, so keep at it and soon you will be swimming straight as an arrow. And if your beach has a line of buoys like mine does, it might be best to just stick along those buoys so that you know you're going in the right direction. And when you're just starting out on these shallow water swims, you can just start with five or 10 minutes, kind of work your way up and as you get comfortable, add some more time. And if you're scared about seeing fish as you're swimming, just remember that they are all way more scared of you than you are of them. So get swimming, log your open water swim in the My Swim Pro app, and enjoy. And that 
is it. So remember, getting comfortable in open water can take a lot of time and work, so stay consistent and stay positive, and I am confident that you will find that swimming in open water is an amazing experience. For some extra motivation, make sure to join the My Swim Pro Global Community Facebook group, and subscribe to this channel if you want more videos like this. Thanks for watching.